CFAT's goals as an organisation for us, we've always focused on delivering infrastructure and technology solutions, mostly to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander communities. IBA have been instrumental in coming forward and talking to us about the opportunities they could help support us in this project. They were able to provide $6 million to be able to build the two satellite dishes on our site. Aboriginal people have been dealing with technologies for thousands of years. These newer technologies that we're linking into shows that we're bridging that gap and that Aboriginal people have always been in a science and technology space. It's been crucial to their survival. And I think that's why it's easy for Aboriginal people to adapt to newer technologies that are coming out today. This is the first development of its kind on Aboriginal owned land in Australia. IBA funded the project and global communications company Viasat partnered with the Centre for Appropriate Technology to launch a real-time earth facility here on our site in Alice Springs. This new technology means that we've got virtually instant access to data technologies that's currently not available. We can develop programs that can help and assist land management and ranger programs, carbon farming, monitoring of fires and all sorts of things. So it's pretty significant and very important. The new infrastructure will transform the earth observation industry in Australia by assisting to bring the potential for earth observation imagery down from hours or days to just minutes. If you think of the breadth right across Australia, whether it's our land or our seas, to be able to provide that access to that information and data from Alice Springs is a feather in our cap. And I think Central Australia and Alice Springs should be really proud of this sort of development.